that's a fancy logo. Hello people, this is Eric Cobra and this is Let's Play Echo, which is... Could you zoom out a bit? Anyway, Echo is, well, I really don't have much of an idea. This game was gifted to me by Flutter, so many thanks to him. Um, okay. This is unique. Excuse me a moment, I just need to check the recording. Make sure everything works fine. Okay, we should probably still lower the audio a bit. There we go. If I'm hard to hear anything like that, as always, you can just tell me. I have basically no freaking clue what this game is about. So, yeah. It's very blind. And white, it's very white now. Now it's black. The flesh of the soldier entered the palace through separate doors. Only the strong of mind and body will again reunite us whole from the collected memoir memories. All our songs were about it. A magical place of life without end. A palace of untold wonders. But only for the worthy. So our lives were desperately dedicated to qualify. Pinpoint perspective on the great reward. Only... I never wanted to go. Did someone drop us? No words alone could mean death. Did, did someone drop us? So I ran, I knew it meant never stopping to catch my breath. Can I get some subtitles? I wanted to live. And so it was. The place I spent my whole life escaping. Cute. Um, still, we need some subtitles. I feel like shit. Of course you do. Your wound has healed. The pain is from the stasis and will pass within a week. The nausea will linger. Probably intensify when you start to realize that more than a hundred years have passed. Everything you knew is gone. This is not another one of your running away from home excursions. Your grandfather won't send someone to pick you up this time. That's all gone now. So you decided not to like me. <laughs> but you've had a century to plan what to say, and that's it? How about... You screwed up the best deal we ever had, or you come waltzing in here giving orders, or, or even Foster died because of you, you stupid bitch. I don't like me much either. But I can fix this. I can bring him back. Okay, that sounds like an interesting proposition. Um, really need some subtitles. I don't know how you hope to achieve that, little miss, but I suggest you start your efforts by laying back down. Loss of motor skills is common even for experienced long haulers, which I suspect you are not. There we go. And no, so I don't even know on to first place. We seem to I suppose you had a long time to mull things over. Nothing I can say will change your mind. Seems to be experiencing a little bit of lag. Let's see.
Does seem like it should be on it. Um, yes, I'm okay with restarting. I don't know how you hope to achieve that, little miss, but I suggest you start your efforts by laying back down. Loss of motor skills is common even for experienced long haulers, which I suspect you are not. Yeah, it's basically how long time to move things over. Things a bit. Nothing I can say will change your mind. Seems a little bit blurry when I move around. Let's just try to continue with this like it is right now. Well, let's defy the voice in the sky and march around. Yeah, it doesn't actually seem that bad. Though the sound is oppressive. Well, the spaceship is gunmetal gray, but at least the light fixtures are fairly well. So, it doesn't seem like we're walking straight into a horror situation. That would require a lot more flicker lights. He? Oh, you mean the cube? Yes, I had a very good look at that while you were asleep. I think you're in for a disappointment. Nothing suggests any sentience. No interface to access the thing, nor any reason to do so. There's nothing in there. It's just a pretty cube. If we knew how to operate it, we wouldn't have had to come here. This is how I see it. You don't answer to my orders, and yet you took us this far, so clearly I'm not the only one hoping that I can achieve something. I can work with that. Not hope. Respect. For Foster. God knows why, but he wanted me here. The stupid lighter proves it. I suspect staying wasn't even an option, considering how you stumbled on board covered in blood, demanding departure a week ahead of schedule. Yeah. Respect, Ben. That'll work, too. I'm all questions over here. Well, it seems like you want me to go in here, so... Yeah, sure. Fancy door. Rose Leslie, N. Nick Bolton, London. Game and level design, Morton Hedegren. Ah, it's the credits we're getting. It's the credits hallway we've entered. Sound pick? Hmm. Jock Hickstop. Some of these names, names, some of these names, sorry, wrong language, sounds very Scandinavian. in the box at least the view is nice I need a suit So we were flying that giant slab of land. I don't see anything but ice. It's not ice. I don't know that we can even trust what we see. This whole planet eluded detection until about a week ago. No visual cues. 
No gravitational pull, nothing. Even with the exact coordinates, I nearly missed it. We're looking for a palace. Why am I not surprised? Give it a rest, will you? Can you see any structures on the planet? You're looking at it. It's all one big structure, planet-wide. No palace, though. I'm guessing it's some corporate state's illegitimate mining project from the pre-requisition rush. That would explain the heavy clouding measures. The planet is most likely depleted of all resources. An empty shell. I hope the old man didn't pay too much for the coordinates. You have no idea. Just get me down there. I'll go see for myself. It's very boxy. This planet so far is rather cubetastic. What are you hoping to gain from landing on that one solitary square? It doesn't even seem to be connected to anything. Maybe you might want to... Oh wait, now. Let's go. Get off the surface too. What a strange place. It's impressive, really. I'm enabling the suit's assist mode to compensate for your inexperience. Great, I now have a hula hoop ring made of hologram. There's something here. It must be some sort of release mechanism. Did you hear that? It's definitely doing something. Seems to be melting away some of the structure. There's one on each of the four sides then. Okay, well, let's just randomly mess with this and see what happens. Look, there's an opening down there. It's too far to jump though. The suit will soften your landing if charged sufficiently. And if not? It will stop you from leaping. The suit reads your intentions from your synaptic activity and receives commands from your voice or eye movements. A bit archaic, but Foster trusted that suit with his life. Neat. Cutting edge doesn't go well with space travel. The journey here alone made the suit an antique. It's not the suit's performance that worries me. Cell meter. The suit stores energy in cells. The cell meter visualizes your top capacity and current charge. Massive triangles are charged and whole triangles are empty. The cell cost of any prompt action will be highlighted yellow. If you do not have enough charge for the action, the empty cells needed will blink yellow. Auto charging cell. The suit's cost will auto charge your charge harnessing ambient energy. This means that if you wait, you will always have one cell at your disposal. Oh boy. Strangely warped. I wonder how long it's been here. A composite like that should last forever, but it all looks ready to crumble. It must be ancient. Yes, well, let's hope it doesn't crumble on us.
This place was made for humans. It's not just a machine mine. Most digs have a basic infrastructure if human presence should be needed. Probably also rudimentary living quarters. Doesn't mean anyone was ever here, though. Gramps believe the place to be untouched by humans. A palace built by long-lost technology, patiently awaiting its first human inhabitants. And you figure this is no more than a bootleg mining operation. I you appreciate the contrast. I generally lean towards plausible explanations. Your grandfather, well, everything he believed in, he made up himself. I don't know about that. He had the coordinates right. Look around you. This obviously isn't a palace. Your man might have gotten some aesthetic details wrong. He wasn't the kind of person who'd risk everything without some kind of proof. I really wouldn't get my hopes up. How do I turn down the volume on the commentary track? You are overconfident. Immature people often are. You should be taking notes every time I open my mouth. Well, this is not something I can do anything with. And it doesn't seem like there's a path over there either, so I guess we'll just go on ahead. Crossing these beams. I guess it's meant for human inhabitation, but lack of safety rails is a major concern. for us to get back off again once we're done wandering around these snow-filled um, vistas. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Slippery. I don't say. What exactly are these structures then? Have you seen others like them since I'm such an expert? I've had my fair share of halls based on wild speculation. It doesn't matter if it comes from desperate need or delusions of grandeur. There's never anything there but bitter disappointment. Didn't answer the question. Was this with Foster? Before Foster. I got the feeling you two have been together for ages. I've been crisscrossing the spur for a thousand years. Foster was with me for a century and a half. I guess we just keep going down until we stumble across something. Ah, stairs! With proper railing and such. Must be the area that's actually meant to be crisscrossed, unlike this support structure. But again, there's railings here. It does make you wonder if there was a point to it all. Well, this corrects directly to the crisscrossing paths. Oh dear, snow! Move! Great, we get to a place with stairway and railings, and it immediately starts collapsing. If you've only been with Foster for a century and a half, you hardly knew him at all. I mean, we've been travelling together for a century, and we only just met. A hundred year haul is quite the extreme. Foster's longest was sixteen. I knew him plenty. He trusted you, and so that I could too. That you would help me. Foster didn't leave me much choice. You don't mess up a job for your grandfather, and then team up with the person you were sent out to get in the first place. You could have just handed me back. You really are naive. I think you're doing this because you believe there's a chance to get your friend back. You're so caught up in your homemade religion that you're oblivious to common sense. I warned Foster about you resourcefuls. Best not to deal with your kind. Why did you then? Get involved, I mean. Foster disagreed. And gold makes for a powerful argument. I feel like there's a lot of terminology and such, but I'm just not knowing what's going on. What a weird jumble. This is like all built together, this is meant to look like this, what am I looking at? We're a long way away from the 
surface, you're going to get back up. Well, not sure how you plan on accomplishing that. There must be a way inside down there. That looks like some kind of landing bay. It looks like nothing of the sort. You know, you're nothing like I expected from a friend of Foster's. Such an odd team. An old rescue vessel from the Requisition and a man without a past. None of our marks knew what hit them. And then we were gone. The stuff we pulled off. You wouldn't believe it. I believe it. I was one of your jobs. A thieving rich kid with a gambling problem hardly qualifies. I got the brief. Not much of an extraction, really. No one giving a shit about you where you dug down. Only challenge Foster could see was that your grandfather wanted you to willingly hand back whatever it was you stole from him. You're wrong about everything. Even Foster. I seriously doubt that I am. He was good, Foster. Always had his eye on the ball. You may think you knew him, that he felt sorry for you, but he would never let that happen. I don't know what went wrong that night, why Foster died, but I'm sure you don't understand much of it either. Sorry, I didn't mean to threaten your romance. 